Hello everybody. I want to depart from my original way I present videos from the day on. That is because things are becoming more complicated and it makes more sense um, to comment on the current um, situation than writing endless letters um, and information about the subject. What you see here is a crux radio meter, also known as a light mill. It consists of an airtight glass bulb containing a particle vacuum. Inside are a set of vanes which are mounted on a spindle. The vanes rotate when exposed to light, with faster rotation for more intense light, providing a quantitative measurement for electromagnetic radiation intensity. The reason for the rotation has historically been a cause of much scientific debate. It was invented in 1873 by chemist Sir William Crookes. As a byproduct of some chemical research, in the course of very accurate quantitative chemical work, he was weighting samples in a particular evacuated chamber to reduce the effect of the currents and noticed the weightings were distributed when sunlight shone on the balance, investigating this effect. He created the device named after him. It is still manufactured and sold as a novelty item. However, it says radiometer and there is some debate around the subject. The, sub the debate is, is it actually moved by the sun radiation? That's where the name radio radiometer is coming from. Or is it actually a heat engine? And that is the second explanation. It's because of the difference of infrared heat on the veins on the front side and the cold veins on the back side that causing the movement. It is also said when the source of the radiation is removed, the veins will move in the opposite direction. Unfortunately, my video camera is not capable to capture it precisely, so you will see only intermittent movement of the veins. But I can assure you, the vein um, movement is quite high. So we are reaching the level. So I, I actually stopped. I actually stopped the radiation, the sun radiation, hitting the veins with a black object, and I'm hoping to get an opposite movement of the vein once it has stopped. That is what is explained in the Wikipedia. Funny enough, regardless of me stopping it by using a large object to block the radiation of the sun, it is still moving violently. According to, the uh, just, um, according to the explanation of Wikipedia, that should not be the case. And the reason I'm starting off working with this little device is because for my latest video about propagation of direct current, I was asked if I could investigate the field between the direct current source if there's some kind of particle emission. So there are two things they want me to investigate. The first thing is, does electron has a mass? If it has a mass, it should create a kinetic energy. And the other, even more pressing question, is there an ether? Well, that's a very interesting question. And I will follow up in my experiments later on. This is now five minutes later, still in the shade, blocked from the sun, and it's even exceeding, or let's say it's accelerating, getting faster and faster. Well, I have not really an explanation for that. It might be the thermic wind, so that means warm wind and cold wind is causing that on the surface of the glass. It is also said when you put your hand on it, in a normal illuminated room, it would move by the heat of your hand. Well, that is continuously working here. It's not stopping at all.
the experimental setup is not new to you but I just replay explain it again here we have the bipolar Tesla coil going over here there's the NST underneath I have to make sure so that I'm not getting any sparks over that becomes a little bit of a problem at the moment um, the Fritz filter our synchron spark gap the power will be again then rectified here underneath and goes into the capacitor bank 200 kilovolt over here power supply for um, NST this is the power supply the variac for the NST and the variac for the synchron spark gap my switching device and here I have a little device that it built it's a triac I'm using this triac actually to control my motor I'm hopefully will bring in later on this is a synchron spark gap I did build but later on more to that I have here one tube connected to the RF ground radio frequency ground in my garden I have here now in between our Crookes radio meter and on the other side I have another fluorescence bulb connected to the positive electrode of my high voltage DC power supply. For the sake of arguments I measure the temperature as you can see it's 8 degree let me be quite clear a laser beam is a very strong beam this one obviously is not very strong so even if I if I put it up here it does not move so when and that is radiation so that's quite interesting that nothing is happening here please note temperature 8 or 2 degree just to let you know um, it's a very strong magnet you have seen then 5400 gauss per page per side so this material is not magnetic mm -hmm. if it would be it would be attracted big time it's not as you can see starting the synchron motor in sync now it's motionless at the moment I power up the device now Temperature in the moment 8.23 degree. And bulbs, I don't know, it's very difficult. It's accurate around 8. Starting up. It's even faster in the same direction. I 
and it turns in the opposite direction. Starting again. Stopping. Moving the opposite direction. Starting again. It's like there's a pressure on one side or in the middle, it moves either right or left. Let me um, move a little bit uh, so, so, so they can get a better stream through the, pain, through the veins. Move to mid one bulb so that I get a diagonal movement. Let's power up. and opposite movement slightly. Temperature has not changed. Same temperature. <laughs> 